I'm not crying on the stage, but sometimes like, when I'm singing uh, some songs and I, I remember what uh, happened uh, during this war, mm, I'm not crying, but something here appears. You know? <laughs> Я пам'ятаю, ти хотіла в Рим Все йде до того, що спочатку на Крим Свій віч замутрим, ніхто не вийде із води сухим Пока тіло ляже в рун, то поможе за сиру My name is Taras Tupole, I'm 35 years old, I'm living in Kyiv I'm singer, I'm frontman of Antitila band Quite popular Ukrainian musical band And now I'm serving in paramedical squad in 130 battalion of territorial defense forces. Very hot today. The weather is very hot and the front line is also very hot. We became a soldiers of our battalion before the war. So that's why when everything started, we just came together and where uh, our battalion was situated, uh, took the rifles, like took the uh, guns in our arms and started to serve. We knew that Ukraine can survive only uh, if everyone will resist. So that's why it's no matter who you was before the war. A musical, musician, office worker, teacher, plumber. At the end of the first week of the war, our base were attacked and they were first injured and first killed brother in arms. Uh, for me, it was a moment when I crossed the line and I finally understood that the war is here and that I can die in every moment, in every second. Uh, we started to serve as a paramedic squad. So our main aim, our main goal was to help our brother in arms to survive, to give them first aid, uh, to transport them from the battlefield to, to the stabilization point. Battalions and our squads uh, were involved in real war, in trenches, and uh, a lot of wounded soldiers, a lot of killed uh, brother in arms, uh, and everything. So, from the uh, April uh, May of uh, uh, 2023, we got involved in like real. Uh, field and trench war. It was like that you woke up, if you have an opportunity to woke up, you wear body armor, helmet uh, uh, and uh, everything to protect uh, your body. Like every day something happens. You're living in this uh, situation when something happens, wounded soldiers, injured soldiers, killed soldiers, um, and uh, the situation is very dynamic. Everything can change every second. And you are living under shelling, under martyr shelling, and uh, artillery shelling, and you are uh, every, uh, every like, hour, every, minute, every second you, you are waiting because uh, a diversional operation can be and somebody can kill you. I don't want to uh, downshift uh, 
and to tell you about uh, something bloody and uh, smoky, like what I saw and uh, where I took a part, it's like, it is war and it is cut out legs and uh, arms, uh, holes in the bodies and died uh, people and everything. When it was my 35 year anniversary, I uh, unlocked the phone of our brother in arm using his uh, finger and uh, he was already died. Hello Ed, greetings from Kyiv. The war has changed our lives. And now we are fighting with weapons against the Russian occupiers. Today we learned about your charity concert for Ukraine, which will take place in Birmingham. And we offer to make a live broadcast between Kyiv and Birmingham with Antitila temporarily joining the gig remotely. Through music, we want to show the world that Ukraine is strong and unconquered. They declined us because we were, we were wearing uniform, we were carrying guns, and uh, they didn't uh, get uh, deep understanding why we are doing this. Uh, but Ed Sheeran got back to us and he said, yes, guys, of course, I want to check out your music. Hey, guys, I just watched your video this morning. Thank you so much for sending it. Firstly, I just want to say to all Ukrainians that I love you, I stand with you, and I'm so proud to be playing this fundraising event next week. Um, I can't wait to check your music out too, guys, and sending lots of love. Ed Sheeran invited us to take a part in his concert in Poland. And uh, we came to our commanders and ask them what we should to do. And they said, yes, of course, you must to go, must to sing a song, you must to share the truth about this war. By the way, you, know, like you, you must to leave the front line because uh, if uh, you will be killed, nobody will play music as you did before the war. Yeah, and, then I'll just and we accepted, of course. So we're here in Poland, Antetella have come over from Ukraine for one night only to play two steps for the very first time tonight, and I'm so excited. Thank you. for the first time, will you make some noise? Because there is from Antetella! Special, but be frankly, in the time we were serving in Kiev and we were uh, deeply involved in like uh, this hard military situation, so uh, I cannot uh, say it, and I will be not frankly if I say that uh, like we were so happy because of this. It was like okay, good, yeah, really good, but we need to work. Like, and, <laughs> And okay, let's try to think how to do this, but for now we have like another duties. After this uh, six months, the situation stabilized and this machine, like war machine, started to work uh, more like intensively and uh, efficiently. We were replaced from the front line in August last year by a decision of our chief in commander, Valery Zaluzhny. And from that time, we're still being soldiers of 130 battalions, but we are, we are in reserve. It was uh, very interesting uh, events, very interesting concerts. Mostly we gathered Ukrainian people in different uh, cities of Poland and Germany and also 
foreigners uh, came to our concerts uh, and we gathered a uh, good amount of money. I feel that a lot of Ukrainian people miss, missed for this emotion and missed for Ukrainian music and we gave this to them. In, in some moment uh, you are like dancing and smiling, in some moment you are crying and you get these emotions. It's everything happened in, in our concerts. Okay. It's like our hidden place, a secret hidden place. Here we are collecting trophies from the front line. As you can see, here is a really large collection from the eastern and from the eastern Ukraine. A lot of different trophies. It's like land lease or the trophies from occupants. We do this for to sell them on auctions for to raise money. It's like one of income of the foundation. We are selling our chevrons on the concerts. We try to do everything to get people interested in supporting Ukrainian army uh, as regular as possible with different sums, starting from one grivna, ending with millions, with three million grivnas. Like this year, selling this, uh, making, uh, organizing auctions and gathering money to help our battalion, help uh, kids, uh, uh, of killed uh, our brother in arms, of course, from our battalion during this war. Normal location. Let's see. Kid. Oh, maybe guys are on break. I need to find them. Uh, here we have our repairing shop. Our project is uh, focused on uh, repairing for Ukraine armed forces because uh, instead of buying new vehicles and receive them from the land lease from other countries, we need uh, many of them to repair because every day they are getting shooting of rockets, of bullets, of mines. Um, uh, cars uh, get uh, cars uh, break down every day, hundreds of them. Uh, we start from uh, regular cars like jeeps and other minivans, buses. We repaired uh, more than 100 of them till the end of autumn, and then we uh, figure out that it will be also in our possibilities, and it will will be really effect effectively to focus on a big one, mm -hmm. as the price of the repairment is not uh, like um, more, much more expensive than a little cars, but. These cars are really in need. Uh, mostly of the cars here yeah, are going to the eastern Ukraine, but uh, there are many places in eastern Ukraine which are taken, uh, in which uh, fights taking place. It's Ulidar, uh, for now Liman again, Bakhmut, Avdiivka. It's, uh, for example, it's from 45 brigades uh, which were shooting uh, Bakhmut. What we are doing now, we are writing the history, not only of Ukraine, but the history of uh, Europe and history of all of the world, because, because history is, happens here and future creates here. When Ukrainian military forces will liberate Crimea, we will give a big uh, concert in Yalta. We open sales to our concert in Yalta in big stadium into 024. And we know that it will happen.
Because uh, if Russian will, it will win, if Russians will win, um, uh, the world order uh, will uh, fall down. No, that's impossible. Ляжет в рун, то поможет за